Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. It is an awfully beautiful day out it there, is. but that temperature is yeah, and there. steamy, steamy after that rain. <laughs> yeah, sadly, it's that time of year yeah. where we see any rain that moves through, it's just going to be miserable afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough. It is, but at least it's looking good for the rest of the day as far as rain's concerned. Right. Let's go ahead and take a look outside at our Way 31 Sky Cam Network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. Beautiful afternoon across the Tennessee Valley. A couple of clouds in the sky, but you don't have to worry about rain for the rest of the day today. We will stay dry. So any plans that you have outdoors, we're looking good for that. But make sure you're staying hydrated and you're wearing your sunscreen because you will get burnt in this type of weather. 83 degrees right now in Huntsville. It's 80 degrees in Athens 82 degrees in Decatur still 79 degrees in Gunnersville, but you'll see the 80s here soon 80 degrees right now in Fort Payne as well. So your weather on the go with the way 31 storm tracker weather app. This has come in handy over the past couple of days. Temperatures will continue to warm into the upper 80s for your highs today staying dry through the afternoon hours and then as that sun sets We'll watch our temperatures fall into the 70s, finally into the 60s as we move into the overnight hours tonight. Now 31 triple Doppler, quiet and dry, and that's what we can expect for the rest of the day today. But as we move through the rest of the week, we will see a chance of at least a few pop up isolated showers during the afternoon hours. Here's a wider view showing what we have going on. So the entire state of Alabama is seeing that sunshine, but off to our west portions of Texas and even Louisiana once again dealing with showers and thunderstorms and each little system may make it over to the Tennessee Valley and that's why we may see a shower or two as we head through the next couple of days. For the rest of the day today though, you can expect some dry skies and quiet conditions as we move into the overnight hours. By your Wednesday afternoon, clouds move in, may see a shower or two start to develop. Not everyone will see the rain, though, as we move into your Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Looking pretty dry for now. By Thursday afternoon, mostly dry, but I can't rule out a shower or two with the peak heating of the day. As we head into your Friday or Thursday overnight into your Friday, looking really good as well. We will keep this chance of pop up showers in the forecast as we move through the rest of the week, though. And speaking of the rest of the week, your temperatures will hang out in the 80s for highs. Our average high this time of year, 85. So we're right there at it for the next couple of days. As far as your gardening forecast is concerned, you may need to water it all the way to the weekend. But by the weekend, that's when we'll start to see better rain chances. We'll start you off Saturday at noon and isolated showers and a couple of thunderstorms will be possible throughout the day. It won't be a washout all day long, but you will be dodging some showers during the daytime hours. Same story for your Sunday, and we'll keep this pattern with us as we head into next week. Most of next week will feature some shower and thunderstorm chances. Right now, our severe weather chance with this is looking low, but just know you're going to need that rain gear starting on Saturday and all the way pretty much through next week with just a few isolated chances of a shower or two for the rest of this week. So make sure to take advantage of the nice weather while we have it before the unsettled pattern returns. Oh, yes. With that steaminess out there, I bet those uh, air conditioning bills are going to start climbing Ooh, right away. Way not looking up. forward to it. <laughs> Hello, electric bill. <laughs> all righty. Well, thank you, Amber. Hey,